Hey guys, it's Logman. We're back playing Satisfactory. Uh, so today we're going to continue the concrete factory that we started last time. Now, as I turn, you're going to see I did some work on it since uh, I last showed you guys. So basically, what I did, I um, finished placing the refineries. I did the four floors. Um, I kind of cut it down to the, the size that I, I wanted it to be. And then I also ran the conveyor belts with the limestone from basically around the area. Um, I wired it. So for today I'm going to I'm going to start the infrastructure. I'm going to do just basically one side on the one floor so you guys get a sense of how I'm doing it. And then I'll finish, uh, basically it's going to be the wiring, the conveyor belts, the plumbing, um, the hypertubes, which, so basically I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put, I'm going to get up there, I don't have a good way to get up there, and this, this is part of the problem that I'm looking to address today, but, uh, I'm going to set it up so that I have power, I have lights, um, I have hyper tubes to go between the floors, but then, uh, okay, that guy's going to be in here. So we have a pet in here, too, um, <laughs> but so that we don't have to keep using all the jetpack and using all the fuel. Uh, hmm. Okay, actually, I need to go down, I need to go down under, because I need to run. Okay, I'll do it from here. I'll start up here. Uh, power... So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to build up here. I don't know if I'm going to show it, but there's going to be kind of like a an office. I guess an office kind of. The, uh, I want to mark one. Really, you know. Like, but it's going to be. I'm going to have all switches and uh, switches to everything. So like the the miners, the. Uh, water pumps, the uh, refineries, be like a little substation in here, so that, because I'm going to have, I don't need, uh, I don't need lights on, except for like when I'm coming, if I ever got to work on it, that's why I ran the power too. Right. So where I ran the power to? I thought I ran it up top. Oh, I did. Oh, I didn't do it. I did do a double. Oh, okay, because that's a... That has to be lower. I did a four high, uh... Foundation there. Uh, I gotta go back there. Oh, sorry, I gotta climb back up there. Because I don't know which wires... The switch... Which one's the line for the concrete, but... But so I have like a little office to control the stuff inside the factory because I don't want to leave the lights on or the hyper tubes on when I'm not working on it because it's going to be an unnecessary power drawer, especially uh, the more like big factories I build. I don't need all I don't need all these lights and everything. You know, it's like in real life you got to turn all the lights off when you go out of the room. God damn it. It was this one. I only know it's that one because it's the only one that has a... only had a one. Alright, back inside. Oop. Took a little damage. And see, I gotta... That's gonna be something I might have to do off camera, but I gotta think of a better way to, uh... climb up and down. Alright, it's... This is going to bother me, even though I'm literally never going to see it. But the fact that it went... I don't want that wire yet, because that, that powers the miners. When you're running belts, it's pain. When the belts are full of limestone like this. Because if you make a mistake and you got to delete the belt, then now you have a whole bunch of either boxes of limestone or limestone in your inventory. So let's 
Let's run all the way around. Luckily, I shouldn't have to... Once I get the power up here, I'm not doing anything that I have to jump it off this anymore. So when I get up to the first floor, I do have to make a bit of correction on the method that I said I was using. Because I said that I was planning on using uh, the top, like the highest number of refineries I went off the number of the product, but actually the way I w wanted to do it was based on whatever had the highest number, whether it was, um, okay, so now this wire is going to come to here. This, oh, I need a double sided. So I wanted to base it on whatever had the highest number, whether it be the the products like I originally had or the the input so f so it's a very complicated way of saying that rather than doing nine refineries on each side I'm only doing seven this will cut down on the no well the problem is if I do nine then the limestone requirements becomes for nine is more than what the top tier belts can uh, handle so right now, the, that's going to be the limiting thing, is the limestone input. But, this is the, one of the most important things right now, is to put the hypertubes in. Now let's see, am I good enough? Okay, I didn't put, that's a weird effect. See like the, the circle, that's there, that's kind of cool. here for now. And so I just loaded up on all the supplies, so hopefully I don't have to make a run back to the uh, the depot area to get more supplies. Uh, hypertube entrance. So actually, that one can go there. Oop. I'm going to power it. It'll power it off of here. That's okay. So now I can just go up. I don't have to use my jetpack. Ah! Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do actually is... I'll show you guys basically how I'm going to lay this out. I'm just going to put that there. So get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. So for the hypertubes, how I plan on doing it, uh, this wall hole. So this section will be uh, for the hypertubes. So now I need a uh, wall entrances. Again, this is only really going to be used for like while I'm working here. So that's why I want to put it on a switch because there's no reason it needs to be powered. Like, uh... no, I can leave it there. There's no reason I need this powered when I'm not working on this factory. Okay, so now go back up. Uh, power. We do double sided seven. So this main, uh, the square here is actually going to be like where a lot of the infrastructure is going to be hidden in. So I'm going to run all my belts, uh, I'm going to run the electricity. Again, I'm doing it kind of sloppy right now just to kind of get it set so I can do it. But um, I'm going to clean it up off camera and then I'll show you guys in the next episode. And what I'll do... I kind of wish it was like in the middle. That's okay. I could. I, I'll just use this. Uh, I'm not gonna change the image right now. But down. 
Again, I'll, I'll make it look a little bit better, but like, I'll have that one take down, and this one will obviously should say up. Not enter. Up. So I'll have that basically on each floor where you can just keep going either up or down, and again, I, I feel once you watch this once, you don't need to watch it three more times. Okay, so for the next thing, uh, I think I'm going to do the plumbing next. Oh god, I'm going to have to jump off the side. Why is this... Why no power? No, oh, because it's not connected. Ugh. Okay, now it should work. Go back up. Okay, so for the water, for each of these, I'm going to have its own, um, what levels are considered? Logistics. The MK2 pipes. But to mount them, I'm actually going to have the water come up through the floor. So I think, is that how I want it? Right, let's go back a little bit more. So that's going to be there. That's how it will be on all of them. I guess basically I should just show you how quickly how I'm going to do it. Yeah. But before I go down, let me show you, uh, I'll show you that point again. So originally when I did the calculation for the, the amount of refineries, I went based off them putting out 80 a minute. But what I didn't realize is they need 120 a minute coming in. So actually, technically, if I'm going by that, by limit, you know, I should only do six because I can only have 600 water per minute coming. I have such a low amount of limestone that the amount of water coming in is never going to be an issue. So that's why I'm just going based off the limestone. But, uh, so that's where I came with seven. Again, it's not going to... What will be good is it'll back up over time. But, like, initially I'm not going to have a problem with, uh, the water. Okay, so that's where the, that pipe's going to come. So the next thing... I think I'm just going to kind of show you basically how I'm going to do everything. And then, like I said, I'll flush it out and basically make times eight of everything. So walls... The exterior of this building is going to be concrete. Concrete with windows. So I'm going to zoop up there. Zoop up there. What I'm actually going to do is... Cause I don't feel like a... Basically make myself like a little catwalk. Uh, temporary building platform here. So we're going to come out. So I'm going to run the pipes up the exterior. Now, the people who know the fluidic stuff know are going to know that it's going to result in me needing a, a bunch of pipes, or uh, pumps, I should say. <coughs> Excuse me. But that's okay. I don't mind. Uh, again, they're not going to be... If I was doing this like at 100% like running all the time I'd be uh, a little bit more hesitant to do it this way but because I'm not you know everything's gonna be kinda arbitrary okay this can be 8 wide oh god it got dark fast that's a 4 and 4 okay Okay, so then this pipe is going to go in, here in line with this one, so we should go up. I think about there should be good. So now this pipe is going to run up. So 
So if, actually, I can kind of show you what the outside's going to look like. At least this part. I think this will look kind of a neat aesthetic thing. Again, even if it's not completely necessary, but this is kind of a more aesthetic build. See, this is something else I wish that the uh, the devs, if you're watching, something that would be really good to add is like a if there was a mode you can kind of see the fluid in the pipes because I I know I have and I've seen other people kind of say the same thing that it's kind of hard to tell like where the fluid's getting stuck and all that but so this is how the outside's going to look in it. So it'll be, you know, 8 up here, and then 6, and then 4, and then 2. So I think that'll look cool. I'm going to, when it comes time to decorate, I'm going to uh, probably change the color. And the, the water, huh, if I can go down there, I think I'll put the, the water down there. I don't know if I can or not. But otherwise, it'll just come from up there, and I'll have a pipeline running, you know, down to here, and then we'll just pump it up. Again, I know it's a waste of power, all in the name of aesthetics. If I need more power, I can always uh, go to another one of the oil or coal areas and set up another power station there. Okay. So now, oh, I got to... Yeah, that's about right. So now what I'm going to do on the inside... Is this, oh, it does, okay. Good, it does hang from the ceiling. Put one in the middle. I don't know how far I could stretch the pipe. Okay, so I figure to about like here ish. Yeah. Like I said, I'm just gonna kind of show you the basics of how I'm doing everything and then I'll uh, finish everything off camera. I'll say, that, like, just getting this built probably took about three hours, four hours. That's why I'm saying, like, you know, you, you do something simple, like, oh, well, let me just, again, it's a repeating pattern, and, like, it's one material, and with the, the zooping, it's even faster, but, man, it still took a while. And then I'm actually going to place, like, the train stations, too. I'm not sure if I'm going to, yeah, I might, uh, do the organization under here. Too. Basically, I'm just gonna have. No. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm gonna set the belts to come down and then go into the train station and then run the rail out to the, the main line. That's all I'm gonna do. And I'm trying to uh, eliminate some of the, like, the arbitrary stuff that. Again, I, I would find boring. That's kind of the my philosophy on like what to and what not to show. Okay, so now this go to about here. I don't this problem is it won't line up. This to be about Because I only need a hundred, I'm actually gonna use uh the MK one pipes. So there you have it. So on every floor, the ceiling is going to look like that. It'll have a pipe coming in. It'll run kind of along the main here, and then it'll split and go up to the ceiling to the uh, to the refineries above. So now the other thing I'm going to do is the conveyor belts. So I 
think the output's going to be here. Okay, I know how I'm going to do it. So I actually want to go to my walls, screw down to the And for those of you that know, don't know, like if, say I'm like want to replace this wall here, if you hold control, it replaces the existing thing with the, the one you have selected. So I do, the way I want these conveyors is I want them like raised up a little bit. Again, I'm not going for a compactor, I'm going for like aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing. So that's going to go to here. Go up to. It's going to come over. I'm actually going to go past. Let's come out another one. Because I don't want. I'm going to try my best on, like, the factory floors to not have, like, clipping. Again, with the, the new system, which I abso absolutely love, and I think more games should implement, where, like, you know, you can clip if you need to. The fact that I can run, like, the belt like that, and it just goes through the refinery. Like, I know, as someone who's played this game for a long time, that makes such a difference. Because you would have uh, these like compact factories, and you'd want to run a belt, and it'd be like this, and you know, technically it's not touching, but it is, so. Oh, it was the worst. I, uh, I envy people who uh, started playing after this update that never had to experience that, because. Oh my god, like I said, it was the absolute worst. Okay, so now we're going to turn. I'm hoping... It doesn't need to be that long. That's going to be the test. What I'm hoping is that I can put a splitter and then an item elevator. And it'll fit. And again, if you actually hit control on the here, it lines it to the output. So what, so that needs 120 minutes, so that needs, so what I like to do, is uh, I'll use a MK2 belt, let me see, come on, you pinned the wrong buttons, does that work? All right, I gotta test if that works. Uh, it's actually a pretty simple test. I'll show you how I'm gonna do this. Cause that works. That's actually perfect. I like that. It kind of butts right up to it. Uh, organization. We'll do this. Do that. Uh, Now we put in, let's put a stack of concrete. You know what, I keep playing like a bunch of different games, so I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Let me see. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so that works. So that's what I'm saying, it's going to be kind of weird, like some things I'm going to try to make. Yeah. I'm going to try to limit the amount of space I use where other things I'm not. So that's going to be the conveyor belts. Let me go up here and get all the concrete off of here. I know this is riveting. And what I'm going to have to do is once uh, I 
get into phase, I think it's in phase three, and get like the um, aluminum stuff going. I'm going to basically go around and upgrade all these belts to uh, MK5 belts, but that's okay. What's nice with this is it limits... So this will only ever take in the 120, like it won't have the MK4 belt feeding it that fast. Alright, and we're back, and so this is what I came up with, actually. So as you can see, we got the conveyor belts, I ran the plumbing. This is what it looks like underneath on each floor. I got the electrical all hooked up. I didn't put lights everywhere because you can't actually mount lights to these, which is something else I think they should uh, change. But I also kind of put a rail and some, you know, painted the floor a little bit. I'll put a little bit more of that once I get the exterior done in the next episode. But I also want to address that. I know it did lag a little bit, especially in the beginning. I'm sorry about that. I'm just kind of limited by the uh, PC I have at the moment and, you know, the game requirements, but I will try to try my best to make it better. But, so that'll be it for today. Next time, as I mentioned, we'll put an exterior on this and kind of finish some of the more uh, um, decorating stuff, especially on the inside. And that'll be it. So I will see you all later.